If you're planning on doing a little work in the garden mm -hmm. this weekend, we want to let you know that not all soil is the same. Some can be healthy and fertile, while another pot of soil can be dead. KK Online Sandra Mitchell and Nick Betteroff tell us about soil science when we go in the garden. Hey everybody, we're in the garden with Nick Federoff. We're going to do a little science class today, we huh? We are. You know, we, I want to talk about the science of soil. There's okay. so many awesome things about mm. soil. And soil is a living organism. We don't mm. think of it in those forms. Right. But it's so fascinating because if your soil isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing, your plant's not going to be growing properly. Oh. Let me give you an example. Here I have a plant that has literally been living in this, in this container for about three, maybe four years. Mm -hmm. Now, it's relatively greenish on top, right? but there's a huge problem with it. The soil is dead. Oh. And how we can tell it's dead is that when we pull oh. it out, there's no root system. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no root system. If this plant was living and, and the soil was doing what it's supposed to be doing, I wouldn't have been able to pull this out like this. Now, don't worry, I didn't sacrifice this plant. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to make the soil come alive. Okay. That's what I like about this. Okay. <laughs> and we have found out that there's, of course, all different types of soil. Mm -hmm. This right here is a soil potting mix that we buy. So we could take in, well, we could plant directly in that. Mm -hmm. This right here is just straight out clay. Now this kind of clay, you're gonna find out over here at the LA River, mm -hmm. all 51 miles it's of it. It's so pretty out it here. It is indeed. But this right here, this is made out of paper. This what? is a paper soil mix. Oh yeah, it feels okay. like paper. Yeah, it does. Now what's really interesting about all this is that for the most part, it's all dead. Yeah, because oh. remember I said soil is alive? Mm -hmm. What we need to do is we need to get our soil excited. We need to <laughs> make it come alive. Okay. And the way we do that is through bacteria mm -hmm. and fungus. Oh, it sounds so fun. Yeah, well, you know, we don't want to take the stuff between our toes and throw it in there. Oh, right? no. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. What we want to do is we want to use things like Dr. Earth has something that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, these are different formulas, and you can mm -hmm. tell just by the by the by the shape and style and the right, colors and things different. how different that they are. You're not going to find any stinky kind of stuff in here, like biosolids and people stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Stay I think I away do. from no waste. that. Right. Uh, this right here, this right here has like feather meal in it, and just all kinds of really really neat goodies. Mm -hmm. Now, the most fascinating thing about this is that there's mycorrhizae in there. The micro what? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is a fungus that has a very special relationship with plant roots. Mm. So when we take an area that would be about this size, this is about, about a, almost a gallon, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is that we're going to take and put just about a teaspoon in there. Okay. And go ahead and put a teaspoon in there. This one? Uh, yeah, up to a tablespoon if you wanted to. Yeah, mix it all up with there. Some magic is happening over here, so I'm actually going to put this other one over here. Okay, even that? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this. And the magic that's happening is we put this mycorrhizae in there. Now, the mycorrhizae is only going to want, want to be around the roots. So if we're going to take and uh, put it down the root system, in the hole, four or five feet, doesn't make any sense, mm. let alone 15 inches. Right. We want to keep it within the root zone area, and then it'll grow. Mm. There's another thing in here called bacillus. Bacillus, we hear this all the time, called BT. We've even talked about it mm -hmm. here, Bacillus thuringiensis, what we use as, a, as an organic insecticide. This is a different kind of bacillus. Bacillus, there's all kinds of different flavors of bacillus. Again, we put it into the soil, and, 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 and everything just starts creating there's action and activity so once we have it in here we're going to want to take and mix it up so go ahead and mix yours up over there okay and so we're going to mix this up really super well okay and, oh, i love this so much so now it's inside now of course we need other things to make soil uber awesome and that would be water mm -hmm. and that would also be the air space that's in between mm -hmm. that's why it's not a bad idea to take a little bit of compost and put it inside of okay. our of this right here. Now what we got to do is plant. So you've got some plants over here. Let's make a container out of this and just go ahead and plant. Okay. Into Are we it. taking these off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and cut them off if you want to use that. Okay. I'm going to do something different over here. I have uh, I have some sprouts, and what I would do is take this whole thing, take the bottom off, okay. and take the side. I just put one in the center. Okay. That's all. Just one in the center. That's going to fill up the whole thing over here. I'm going to use these sprouts over here, and I'm going to take one handful away, 
and it's just filled up with this lovely, with the all-purpose fertilizers, or over there, you have the you have the tomato one right there. And we're gonna mix this all in right here. And what's gonna happen with mine in about three weeks, after I put the soil on top, is something fascinating. In about three weeks, this is gonna be about this tall. Really? I could graze off of it. Uh -huh. I've got sprouts. You've got your rosemary mm, and your okay. soil is alive. So if anybody <laughs> wants any more information, come to thingsgreen.com.